This is the Lambert orbital transfer demonstration for gravity engine 2.0. Up until now, gravity engine has supported a couple of orbit transfers, the Hohmann and bioelliptic transfers. Those are transfers that allow you to move from one circular orbit to another circular orbit in the same plane, which is a very restricted and specialized subset. Now, by adding the Lambert transfer, we add the ability to transfer from an arbitrary orbit to another arbitrary orbit that can differ in eccentricities, they can not be circles, and they can have different uh, inclinations. And the path between the orbit uh, can be changed based on how long you want to spend in transit. So the transfer time is variable. So the scene we're going to use is in demos and it's the Lambert transfer DL for dimensionless. There's another roughly equivalent scene called Lambert transfer solar. The difference is it has Earth, Mars, Ceres, and a spaceship, whereas here in the dimensionless one we just have some arbitrary planets. So let's go ahead and start this scene. You can see as we look around that the there's a spaceship, there's three other bodies, uh, there's a bunch of information on the screen about what the key controls do, but the target ellipse we're going to pick is this blue one on the outside that has a different inclination from the spaceship orbit. So we'll press space to pause things, and then as the instructions say, if we uh, want to change the target ellipse, which is currently colored red, we just press the N key, so that sets the target to be the outer ellipse, which is the one we want. And then if we press M, we get a maneuver that will take us to just uh, the zero phase point of the target orbit. So we can see immediately that this is a new kind of transfer because we've picked an ellipse, but we've picked an ellipse that has a different inclination and gets us out to the orbit that we want. And we can in fact observe as we use the A and D keys to move the destination point on the target ellipse around that the transfer finds the lowest energy path from the spaceship to the point we've indicated. And you can see up in the top left here it's showing us the maneuvers that will be required to accomplish this transfer and the time that the transfer will take. Now the transfer time is, is determined for a minimum energy transfer, but you may want to take longer than that or shorter than that, and so the keys W and S allow you to change the transfer time. So if we wanted to make this transfer occur faster, we can move to a more aggressive ellipse, and in fact if we keep going as fast as we want, we will get all the way to a hyperbolic path. So this is also something that's distinctive about the Lambert transfer, as it smoothly moves between an ellipse and hyperbola, depending on the constraints you give it. You can, of course, come up with a transfer time that's just not possible, in which case the orbit will not be drawn. So we can back up to some kind of an ellipse. And then, as it says down here, to execute the maneuver, we just hit the X key, and the spaceship picks the path. Now here it's picked a path where it's reversed its orbital direction to go out to the outer path, and then it will once again uh, impose a burn to make it go in the counterclockwise way, which is fairly expensive pair of maneuvers, but those are the maneuvers that were required for the transfer time that we wanted. One of the enhancements that will be coming is to add more heuristics around the most appropriate path to take to get to where you want to get to. To see what's going on under the hood in this scene, and to see how the orbital transfer is calculated if you go into the object hierarchy, there's a Lambert demo controller script. It's fairly straightforward in terms of its forming the orbital transfer. One of the things that's a little bit different about the Lambert transfer is that when you edit it, we first invoke the constructor on the Lambert transfer orbit here in the Lambert transfer setup feature. This creates a Lambert transfer with the minimum energy and makes that minimum energy available. When we want to recompute the transfer for a new time, 
we do that in this function Lambert time updated and here we use a compute transfer to use the specified transfer time. I think this is a very useful addition to Gravity Engine and I hope you find so too. Thanks for your attention.